You know, I don't really get this story at all. Why aren't people being busted and thrown into jail for anti-Semitic hate crimes? I mean, that's what's happened in other minority groups that have been uh, attacked, for example. Why hasn't Biden done this already? You don't even hardly talk about it. Anyway, joining me to talk about it and this incredible way of anti-Semitism is our great friend Newt Gingrich, former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor, author of March to Majority, the real story of the Republican Revolution. Newt, just for starters, um, I guess it was today or yesterday at uh, Cooper Union in downtown New York, um, uh, there was a, a, Palestine, a Palestinian rally, and they found out there were some Jewish kids in the library, and they started marching against it. And the Jewish kids had to some, some, you know, try to lock the doors and save themselves. And in Washington, D.C., yesterday or day before, uh, George Washington University, they had all kinds of uh, things projected on walls. I don't know if it was exactly graffiti or pictures or whatever. And of course, you see this, we've all. You know, looked at what they've done at uh, Yale and, and Harvard and, and uh, Northwestern and these other places. The point is, Newt, these are hate crimes. You've said that. I mean, why aren't the administration acting on this? Well, look, I, I think it's easy to underestimate the depth of the anti Israeli and anti Semitic attitudes that are now at the heart of the Democratic Party and are at the heart of the Biden administration. Uh, <clears throat> the fact is, uh, supposedly 100 people in the White House went to a meeting to deal with their anxieties about what's happening, not to deal with anger about 40 babies being killed, babies being beheaded, not to deal with anger about women being raped and dragged through the streets dead with people spitting on them, uh, not to deal with anger about 1,400 innocent people being slaughtered. Oh, no. Their anxieties and watch the news media, which is part of the same anti Israel, anti Semitic process. Uh, now we've suddenly decided that Palestinians who are being hurt only because Hamas uses them as a shield. I mean, this, this war could end this evening if Hamas would surrender. But Hamas isn't going to surrender. And Hamas doesn't mind Palestinians being killed as long as they are able to put them up on YouTube or on TikTok. Or in some other device to use them for propaganda. Here in the United States, first of all, anybody who's here who's not a citizen who is participating in anti Semitic rallies should be deported. They should lose their green cards or their student visas. They should be gone. Second, uh, we should enforce the law which already exists, <clears throat> which requires all these major universities to publicly state where their funding comes from. Uh, because I think between the Chinese, and various elements like the Iranians, we would be shocked at the depth of penetration in our system. The Congress right now should be actively investigating the fact that there are at least four Iranian agents working in the Defense and State Department. Literally, people who are Iranian agents, the key person making policy under Obama mm -hmm. turned out to be an Iranian agent. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's maddening how much we have allowed people who want to destroy our way of life. And remember, Death to America and death to Israel aren't just slogans. That is the goal of the Iranian dictatorship, and we are sitting passively. It's as though we'd ignored Stalin and we'd ignored the Soviet Union and we'd been unwilling to deal with the reality of communist penetration. That's where we are today. You know, Newt, um, this Justice Department, Merrick Garland and his FBI, have gone after pro life Catholics. They've gone after parents who are worried about sex changes, you know, <clears throat> among five or six or seven year olds go to PTA meetings and they will not go. Where are they at these anti-Semitic rallies, for example, or gatherings? Why aren't they monitoring us? Why aren't they announcing that they're going to monitor this? The thing that blows me away is that nothing's been said about it. I mean, the silence here is absolutely deafening and it's so troubling. But look, let's be honest. These people are committed to an anti-American value system. They're committed to being anti-Christian and anti-Jewish. They're committed to being anti-white. Uh, this runs all the way through the Biden administration and now runs through much of the Democratic Party. Uh, and it's a huge problem. And of course, the campuses, which we're going to basically have to recapture. 
are currently occupied by people who hate America, uh, professors who say that it's great the Jews are being killed. I mean, why aren't those professors summarily fired? Mm. Uh, there are a whole mm. range of places here. We have lost the capacity to stand up for ourselves and to draw a line in the sand and to mean it. And by the way, notice we don't even defend Americans overseas. The Iranians have been uh, had their, their various proxies shooting at us for weeks. Mm. Uh, the Hamas killed 32 Americans, at least with 10 missing. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> where is the punishment? Yeah. Where are the Tomahawk missiles? Where is the effort to go right after them? You know, the answer isn't that we've now had both Biden and, and the Secretary of State say, oh, we're going to hold them accountable. Well, the morning mean? I see an Iranian refinery blow up, yeah. the morning I, to take your, your, your ship one step further, the morning I see us impound every Iranian ship at sea, mm. then I'll begin to think we're holding them accountable. Until then, this is a gutless administration which lies to everybody and which is tolerating a level of anti-American and anti-Israeli behavior that's unthinkable. Yes, sir. Former Speaker Newt Gingrich, thank you, sir. We appreciate it very much. Spot on.